Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to create a XML file using Qt XML. Since web application and the SOA architecture became more and more popular, to exchange data through XML file became more and more common in use in recent days. In this short video, we are going to continue using previous videos example, tennis club membership registration. We are going to, in that example, when we click this save button, we save all the data into CSV files. So today we make an adjustment. When we click this save button, we are going to save the data into XML file. So we change the save XML. So in order to make in Qt to able to generate XML file, we have to in the Qt project file add XML in the Qt. So and after that, we have to go to my our main Windows CPP and these two include Qt XML, Qt DOM process instructions. So in this example, we have created a, a structure called a player, which record a name, membership type, gender, level, and the program, which exactly match our design form, name, membership type, gender, level, and programs. So, and when we, when we click Add button, we are going to store our player information, which is a struct player, into our vector, called a struct, my vector. So in the, in the, when the button, Add button clicked, which this button is clicked, what we are going to do, we are going to, first we are going to, before we are going to add my message, append the name to my message. Now we have to also assign the, my name, which from the line editor, to the, my player's instruct, structure, my player's name. So we assign to my player's name. We also assign to my player's member type from radio button text. So the radio button checked. This we going to assign the, assign the text to my player's member type, and also also the gender, which from my combo box current text assigned to the my player's gender. And the combo box two, which is a level, is a beginner, intermediate, or advanced to my player's level. And then all the program checkbox stacks we also assign to my player's program. We append, 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 append. So at the end, we put using push back method of my vector to start my player's information to there. So now if after that, if this save XML button clicked, which goes to here, slot is on push button to clicked. So we first we instantialize the file object, which is called new members.xml. So let's make a change. And so we also check if my vector is not empty, so if empty, we don't do anything. If not empty, we just put a show message and uh, how many record is going to be safe. And before we write in to file, we have to do things here. First, uh, for XML file, we have to create a document and uh, we have to add a root node. Here is an example of XML file. So first, uh, we have to have a document and we have to have a root. This is the breakfast menu, which is a root. Each root has a food. Food one is called a child of a root. And this is a child two. And we have also child three. In our case, this is a root. And we have a player one, 
we have a, we're going to have a player two and going to have a player three. So, okay, so first we have to create a document. So let's uh, open the file and uh, in order to save in the typing time, I just uh, making copy paste. So how to create a document and create a root. And uh, here is we're making a copy. We come here to making paste. So So here we created a document. We using the Q DOM document, which is called my doc. And the first line is the process instruction, which we we're going to tell what kind of document we create, which we could tell the XML version and the encoding, which was the same thing like here. And the document first line we have to give the instruction is which type of file, which version, what's the encoding rule. So. After that, we are going to create a using cool DOM element, create a root, we just call this root. And uh, after we create a document, instruction, and the root, we have to make a loop of my vector, which each vector record is a player. So we have to create a player node. So let's exact the same way. Control C, come here to Control V. So, first thing we, have, we are doing is what we are doing the first is create a player node. So, we're going to call the player. So, this is called a player node. And after player, each player we're going to have name. So here so we add a created the name element. And after name is each player has a membership type. So where here is we using DOM I created the membership type and each player has a gender. So in this blog, we created a gender and uh, append the gender to the player. And after that, we create a level node, element level, and uh, add the level to the player. So player has level. And after that, we add the program signed to the player, so player has a program. So after image the player finish, we are going to do is add this add this player to our root. So our root has a first player, first player, and when we loop into the second vector, and we do the same thing, we create a second player. We add a name. We add a name, membership type, player's gender, player's level, and the player's uh, program sign. And then we add a root and a second player. And after that, we're finished. So we can open the file. It's which physical open our file. And with the write only text model. We create a text stream called out. And then we just uh, write out so we're going to do the out what we're going to write out is my document and uh, it's the object but we have to two string method into string method and write to our file after we write to the file we clear the vector we make a flash file and close the file so now let's try to build our project build See, 
it says it's green so far it looks green so far this looks oh uh, everything looks green okay looks good so where what we build we build to the release so let's go to the linux so rs man r so we have release let's go to release So we have this, we have our executable binary created. Let's just run this. Okay, here is our form, our window. So here is our membership registration form. Let's put uh, some name, John, Oliver. This is adult membership mail. It's an intermediate and uh, he Join the old program, which we click add. We add it into the into our vector. Second, we call the Mary Johnson. It's adult membership. Let's she she's a female. Let's say she's advanced, so she didn't just run Robin. She only just the house league and the tournament. Let's add. So we have two, the Mary Johnson. Let's create. Let's make a third one. St Steve Lins and uh, let's say he's a senior membership, he's a male, he's a beginner, and uh, he didn't join the tournament, uh, join the racer. So now we have a uh, three players saved in the memory a vector. So now we click this save button. So it says three record has been saved. So now let's click this let's see what we have here and so this is this is our new members xml click so watch this here so our files called new underscore members dot xml right so we create and uh, let's see what we have inside so now you can see we have our xml file which first is the instruction XML version 1.0 encoding UTF-8. And we have a root, and under root we have a three player, one player, first called John Oliver, we have a second player and called Mary Johnson, and we have a third player called Steve Moulin, and uh, this is uh, our XML file. It's ready for transmit to another system. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Hopefully it is useful and it's going to be great to have your feedback.